ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Let's talk about this Tiana Taylor situation with Amon Sherpert. Okay? So if you guys don't know, um, Tiana and Amon are going through a divorce. And so more information has come out and they're saying that she secretly filed to divorce him and she's saying that he's a jealous narcissist. So everybody's talking about this on social media. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here really quick. Give me just a second. Okay, so this was on TMZ. And so this is what is being reported. They're saying that basically Tiana's Lawyer, hold on, is that an update? Okay, let me go to the original article. I hate when they do these little updates. Okay, Tiana Taylor and Amon Shumpert are getting divorced. She secretly moved to end their marriage nearly a year ago and claims he's been jealous and narcissistic during their seven-year marriage. According to their new legal documents obtained by TMZ, Tiana filed to divorce the NBA player back in January, more than eight months before they announced their separation. In docs, Tiana detailed the demise of their marriage, accusing Iman of being jealous about her fame and feeling insecure about being good enough for her, despite the fact that he was earning way more and playing basketball than she could ever dream of making in music. Tiana claims Iman would grow annoyed when they would attend public events together and photogs would ask him to step out of frame, okay? She says that when Iman signed a $40 million contract with the NBA's Cleveland Cavaliers in 2015, the same year he was also paid $8 million by the New York Knicks, he remained aggravated by her notoriety and jealous of her acting career and insecure about being her man. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ that Tiana wanted to keep this private as long as possible, initially choosing to file with their initials. However, Iman's recent filing in the divorce proceedings included their full names, thus thrusting everything into the spotlight. Tiana claims that when Iman started sending her negative text messages with condescending and manipulative language in response to her being in the spotlight, she claims he would pick fights with her for no reason and even on her birthday and then apologize. Wow. Whew. Let me go ahead and come back on the screen, child. Okay, so basically, like I've been telling y'all, everything that glitters is not goals. I remember everybody was screaming that their relationship goals and, you know, black love, this and that. I always felt funny about their relationship. I liked them together. But what turned me off was the hobo threesome tour that I talked about years ago. Because it just, it, it seemed like there was something missing. When you got to sit there and let the whole world know about your sexual exploits, what you do in your bedroom is your business. It's not my business. It's not social media's business. But when they went from Breakfast Club to Angie Martinez to this platform, constantly talking about their threesomes and busting bitches down, I'm like, what kind of marriage is this? This is weird to me. So now a lot of people are bringing that up. Like, you know, is it because of all these, you know, weird ass threesomes that she was engaging in? Um, did this come back to bite? And so now she's speaking about this on a podcast. Let me see. So we're going to watch this really quick. We're going to watch her response um, to this threesome situation. So let me share my screen really quick here. Okay, here we go. End of the day, I believe in agreements. Period. But like, put some respect on a woman's swag. I feel yeah. like they're trying to take that away from the woman to feel like, oh, you doing it because that's what he wanted. It's like, nah, that's actually, not what it is. I run this. What shit. makes me happy is feeling like I'm still free. I look at polyamory, monogamy, all the things in between as an orientation. All right, let me come back on the screen. So you guys hear her, you know, trying to make excuses and, oh, put some respect on the woman's name. I wanted it and this and that. And maybe she did because she gives me, you know, lesbian, bisexual vibes anyways. You know, so maybe she did want it. But 
I'm not buying that because again, if this is something that you wanted, there was no reason to bring us into the group chat. If this is something that, you know, that's just how you and your husband get down, then that's y'all's business. Why bring this to social media? Either you're bringing it to social media in hopes that, you know, you guys are planting seeds that when they, you know, slide up in your DMs, these girls' these guards will be down and they'll be down to do threesomes with y'all because I'm just, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying that, you know, put some respect on my name. This is what I wanted because again, people who are just freaky and that's what they want, that's what they do. That's just their thing. It's nobody else's business. It's not the world's business, you know? And it's very interesting that, you know, everybody wants to keep pushing all this polyamory stuff and, you know, multiple people in one relationship. But I keep telling y'all, three's a crowd, bitch. Three is a fucking crowd. Everybody thinks three's company. No, three's a crowd. And eventually somebody's going to start feeling away. It's all good at first because it's new cooch, new adventures, new dick, okay? I get that. I get the thrill of it. But eventually... You cannot split yourself evenly three, four, five different ways. You just can't. Somebody's going to feel left out, okay? And people are trying to have all these weird-ass rules. Oh, we can only fuck when we're all here. Okay, bitch. You keep on thinking that your husband is only smashing this chick when you guys are all here. Absolutely not. When you're on the road and you're gone and you're busy or you're at work, they're still smashing, okay? Sir, you might think that your wife will only do a threesome when you're there. No, because you guys already opened up Pandora's box. So when you're on the road touring or doing whatever, he's still breaking your wife off, okay? I'm just saying. I know people who have been in these threesome relationships. That's why I don't promote them. Because everybody I know who has brought other people into their marriages, into their relationships, that shit has failed, okay? Y'all are doing all this freaky shit after the kids go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> got babies locked in bedrooms and shit while y'all are doing all this freaky stuff and then a year later everything just collapses i've known people who have gotten involved in threesomes and did not even know who the damn child's father was throughout the pregnancy they had to wait till the baby was born and do a dna test like this come on we gotta do better y'all are getting pregnant during threesomes y'all are, are, are y'all are fucking your little brother's baby mama just because you're so desperate to keep your man. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I don't call somebody out, but I don't care. I, I said what the fuck I said. You can be mad. You should never sleep with your little brother's baby mama just to make your baby daddy happy. Just people be on some weird shit. Don't come asking me in the club and telling me that, you know, you and your man fantasize about me. and Can I join y'all in a threesome? Absolutely the fuck not. It's not a turn on to me. Again, grown folk can do what they want to do, but I just wish people could stop acting like it's just one big happy home. Somebody eventually gets jealous, okay? Somebody eventually feels some type of way. You, okay, yes, the sex can be good. Everybody's coming at the same time. Great. But now it's time to clean. Now it's time to do dishes. Now it's time to, you know, take this person out. Oh, well, you took her out or you bought her that bag. You didn't buy me that bag. It's a jealousy thing. People start getting jealous. And like I said, all y'all want to act like y'all are about that life on social media. Like I'm down to do whatever. But like I told y'all in the past, can you really handle it when you've been with somebody for years, right? A few years, y'all want to bring this new person to the relationship, right? Can you really handle bringing another man into the bedroom and he's making your wife or girlfriend moan like you ain't never heard her moan before. How you doing? And can you really handle, you know what I'm saying, you and your man bringing another chick into the bedroom and this motherfucker's toes is curled, you know what I'm saying, is curled this way and shit and he's moaning like a little bitch, <laughs> okay? Can you handle that? Because everybody talks about the good part, but can you really handle that mentally? When everything is done and everybody done came and shit, can you handle that? Or are you going to be like, damn, I ain't never heard you moan like that, bitch. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? These are real questions. So that's why I didn't agree when her and Amon were doing this hobo tour and acting like, you know, oh, everything's cool. And, oh, yeah, we busting down bitches. And, but now we find out behind the scenes he's jealous. And how do we know that Iman wasn't jealous? Because Tiana out here acting like a full-blown lesbian. Not including him in the threesomes. How do we know that that's not the cause of his jealousy? 
Because y'all done brought all these people into the relationship. How do we know that she wasn't treating these other people better than she was treating him? I'm just saying. When you open up Pandora's box, anything can happen. So don't let these celebrities gas you into, you know, getting yourselves involved in stuff, being unicorns. We talked about this a few years ago. You know, I had a tea sipper. She was a unicorn. Basically meaning that they call her when they want to bust her down. And after a while, it's like, okay, now the husband and wife, they're going their separate ways. They don't, you know, got their little roll on with you. You know, they might drop some money on the nightstand, but now you're left by yourself, just feeling used. Nobody wants to feel used at the end of the day. You know, we're all human beings. We all have emotions. Nobody wants to feel like they're being taken advantage of. And no woman is going to put up with that for years. Like, yeah, it might be cute when they're 21, 22, 23, but eventually that woman may want a husband, you know, start a family. So, yeah. So I'm not buying that. I'm not buying anything she's saying on that podcast. Oh, put some respect in my name. Girl, bye. Next. She was trying to do a bunch of freaky shit and it backfired. It didn't work out because again, no matter what you do, no matter who you bring into your relationship, if your relationship is not solid, that shit is going to go by the wayside. And I've just seen too many instances of people that I know personally, okay, who have bought other people into their relationships, thinking the shit was cute, getting gassed up by social media. And now everybody's divorced. The husband done ran off with the little sister, just all types of weird shit that y'all be involved in. Or the woman done got dicked down so good by the pool boy, now they're together and you sitting here twiddling your thumbs, mad, punching walls and shit. I'm just saying, be careful who you invite into your relationship. It can be the downfall of your relationship. So, yeah. Y'all do what y'all want to do, child. I'm just here to, you know, give y'all some advice. That's it, that's all. <laughs> If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.